This is part two of a journey start to finish of one of my artworks. I'm Beverly Clary. Welcome to my channel. The best is now. Check out more of my artwork on the all new beverlyclarich.com. In this video, we're going to trace and transfer the finalized drawing. Start working on the end result. What I haven't shown or talked about for this work is the thought process I engage in before I first set pencil to paper. Even though this is an experimental work, I have established a framework within which I want to work. If you'd like me to talk about my behind the scenes thinking when I create, let me know in the comments below. I want to go ahead and compare my tracing to the important landmarks that are on my drawing that I'm basing my artwork on. I've retraced all of my graphite lines with my red colored pencil, crimson light. I went ahead and drew the line on through and made it meet on, on this side of his hands. This is the back where I have uh, put graphite on, my number six graphite. I follow the line, I sort of develop my own system. I will take this and I will put it on my support. Kind of think about my composition a little bit more here. Now I shall take my spectrum blue and copy this now. I'll be a little bit more gentle because I actually, I don't want to groove my support. I want to have a nice little light outline. There's a lot of problems that were solved that I don't want to have to resolve. I've used tracing paper to transfer all of my drawings for all my works in my earlier series. I find them time savers. How about you? What do you think about using tracing paper? Do you use it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty happy with that. And this is acid-free card. I'm actually putting in the mid-tones. I'll go back in and I'll put in some um, deeper shading and working stuff. rather light and deepening it. I'm starting with a light application of Ink Tense Baked Earth. Then I deepen values with Indigo. I used ink tents to create my last exhibition series, Out of Hand, when I applied it to handmade rabbit skin gesso. I like that you could apply light values and then quickly intensify the effect. setting the extreme values. Obviously the white is the brightest and I'm seeing how dark I want to go for sure. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make that go st uh, straight out. I'll just go ahead and block that off. I've only used baked earth and indigo. Now I'm adding poppy red to my palette. 
Adding red and thin layers gives a sense of life-giving blood in this portrait of Bill. I've also used light washes of sea blue around the sides of his face and skull to give more form. Thank you for joining me for my journey to discovering a new direction for my arts practice. Be sure to come back next week. Please hit that like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. You can see more of my artwork on the all new BeverlyClarich.com. I'm on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram, so join me there. Please comment below with any questions or ideas for future videos. I hope you enjoyed your time in the studio. I know we sure did. Thanks for watching and remember, the best is now.